Imagine a machine that can boil an entire ocean using a few pellets of metal. Now imagine it doesn't explode, even though it's literally powered by radioactive fuel. That's a nuclear reactor. And yes, it sounds dangerous, but the truth is, it's one of the most carefully controlled systems on Earth. So today, let's break down how nuclear reactors work without blowing up the planet. The first time I learned about nuclear energy, I pictured mushroom clouds, hazmat suits, and glowing green goo from cartoons. But when I dug deeper, I found something way more interesting and a lot less dramatic. Turns out nuclear reactors are kind of like giant kettles, only with uranium instead of a gas stove. Alright, so here's how it works, step by step. Inside a nuclear reactor, the fuel is usually uranium-235, a tiny pellet that holds massive energy. When a uranium atom splits, a process called nuclear fission, it releases a burst of energy and more neutrons. Those neutrons then hit other uranium atoms, and boom, a chain reaction starts. Now here's the important part. This chain reaction happens inside a reactor core, which is surrounded by control rods. These rods absorb extra neutrons and slow the reaction down when needed. Think of them like brakes on a car. All the heat produced by fission is used to boil water and the steam spins a turbine, just like a regular power plant. The turbine powers a generator which creates electricity. So yeah, your phone might be charging right now thanks to a controlled atomic chain reaction. Pretty cool, right? And don't worry, the entire thing is enclosed in multiple protective layers. A pressure vessel, thick concrete, steel containment domes, basically a fortress. And here's the weirdest part. The uranium pellet, it's about the size of a fingertip, can produce the same amount of energy as a ton of coal. One tiny piece of radioactive rock can power your house for months. So now I've got to ask, if you had to power your entire home using one energy source, would you go with nuclear, solar, or hamster wheel? Drop your pick in the comments and let's see who picks the craziest one. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Weirdly Shorts, and share this with a friend who still thinks nuclear reactors are just movie explosions. Until next time, stay curious, stay weird.